Well, look at you looking at me. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Dennis, uh, aka Internet Personality. Got bot? What bot do I got today? Oh yes, this one's a sweet one, folks. It is a jet that likes to ram things. That's right. It is classics. It is deluxe class. It is ramjet. Why am I such a nerd? Okay, welcome back, folks. Uh, as always, please uh, use the links below to uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and everything else. Um, by all means, check out my novel, my first novel, The Everything Factor, More Works Coming Down the Pike. Uh, like The Everything Factor's Facebook page, please. Uh, I always appreciate support from the fandom on uh, anything that I do. Today, to get down to business, Deluxe Class uh, Ramjet. This is the Classics Mold. Pardon the pun of it being a classic mold now as well. Um, everybody has seen these a hundred times, and this one is one of the best versions of it, I think. Is it perfect? No. This is the Hasbro version. The paint apps are a little off from G1, but you know what? I, that like that's okay to me. I don't really have a problem with that. Why? Because he looks so gosh darn good. Um, just as a jet, he looks just just great. Um, Obviously, the wings should be completely red. Uh, the back engines should definitely be a chrome color. And they're not, but I don't think it hurts the aesthetic. I really don't think it hurts the aesthetic. In robot mode, I did add a few custom paint apps. I'll get to that when we get there. Overall, for both modes, I'll say it right now, I think his paint apps deserve an 8. Just because, you know, he looks like he's going to ram you. You know, he looks like he's going to do some damage. How does he compare with modern day deluxe? Well, you know what? Here's Alpha Bravo for you. They're both, you know, they're both uh, uh, aerial vehicles and they scale nice. They do. They scale really nice. We will get down to uh, transformation now really quick. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because everybody's seen this a hundred times. Um, I guess before I do that, this is his weapon. This is his, his null ray. The front piece here will come out. Honestly, I don't see the need to to demonstrate that largely because I'm never going to have it out. So to transform this guy and really to transform all versions of this mold pretty much because it was used for Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, uh, slightly repurposed in order to make the cone heads and of course underneath you can see a lot of robot bits there including his face. But you begin by pulling out the legs. Simple. Pull out the legs and flip down his feet. You might want to angle the wings back on him a little bit and split the legs. There's the lower half. Boom. Done. Lower half of Ramja out of the way. You'll notice that uh, uh, the wings in here uh, still have that orangey color like on the outside instead of being a solid red and you'll notice a couple of Decepticon symbols uh, here. I'm gonna say right now they are not repro labels uh, because that's the only apps that I wanted to add here honestly I just went online found uh, a Decepticon symbol printed it off used crafting scissors to cut it out got a little bit of wood glue and put it on the back after the ink dried otherwise you're gonna smear it and put them on and I think they, they work great they look great Fantastic. Really helps the aesthetic. Also, I added a paint app here on the pelvis. The pelvis was uh, more of a white color, I believe, and I mixed black and white to get a gray to match the gray on his arms, the gray up on his, uh, you know, chest, chestal region. Um, anyway, going on with transformation because that's it for, for paint apps. That's why I got an 8 instead of a 10, to be honest with you, because I had to add a couple of things myself. Bend back the top of the jet. Fold out his two arms. Pretty simple. Kind of crack the cockpit. Turn it. And push it down and in. Turn his head around. Close up the jet. As you can tell, we're almost done. Um, 
you have to get out the fist next. There's one, and there's the other. And of course, add in his null raise. Transformation. Transformation gets a 10. It is quick, it is easy, it is fluid. Um, nothing really sticks. It works great. It works great and he looks fantastic in, in plane mode. He looks fantastic in uh, robot mode. I could not be happier when it comes to that. So we have an eight for paint apps. We have a 10 for transformation. Post ability, playability, that is the next thing that I measure by. This is where he's gonna suffer a little bit, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. And I think necessarily so. I think he kinda of has to suffer here because in order to keep the look, in order to keep that classics look, certain Posability limitations uh, really just seem to kind of go hand in hand uh, with the mold, to be perfectly honest with you. And you know that's that's fine. Um, I I can I can live with that. Do I like it? No, but I can live with it. Um, his head, his head will swivel left and right. Uh, very tight. It is not on a ball joint, which means. You guessed it, he can't look up, he can't look down. Uh, and that's unfortunate, but understandable for the limitations of the mold. Uh, the arms, the arms are the next section. And the arms are a bit of a mixed bag. They can go uh, around 360 degrees. Um, some versions of this mold have the wings, of course, up higher, and the null rays are too long, we'll bang into them. Uh, they can also go out and you see the null ray getting in the way there of a full extension, but it will get the null ray out of the way. It will extend even further. Uh, we do have, I guess, you could call it a bit of wrist articulation because of transformation. And we have 90 degrees at the elbow. Great. But we have no bicep swivel at all. None. Um, and that's a real shame. I understand it for the time, it was not kind of common standard plays at the time, such as life. We move down to the legs and uh, they're a little bit of a better story. They do have a swivel, they do move out that far uh, because they're hindered by the hip skirt. They do move back that far, not a lot but enough. Um, there's a nice 90 degree bend at the knee, pretty much 90 degree anyway. and. Um, he has a little bit of foot articulation. Out to the side, the splits, not fabulous either. That's about as far as you're getting with the splits again because of that hip skirt, really. Um, and I guess the wing pieces, uh, you know, have some play there too. So overall, we have a score of uh, six for playability, posability. We have a score of eight for paint apps. We have a score of 10 for transformation. Overall, he's going to be an 8. He's a great figure. Don't pay 50 bucks for him. I overpaid for him, there's no doubt. If you can get him for 20, 30 bucks, well worth it. And honestly, an update to him, all I would ask for is use the exact same mold, add in a uh, bicep swivel. That would be it. Uh, how does he compare in robot mode to modern day deluxe? Again, here's Alpha Bravo uh, to help us out. And they scale tremendously well. They really do scale tremendously well. Um, Outside of saying, again, to check out the Everything Factor, please uh, support uh, all my projects. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter and all that. Um, I guess I will wait and see you for the uh, next review. Uh, it will be review number five. Um, it will be a uh, real deal, true review. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. See you then. Thanks for watching.